In this video, we will solve a tricky interview question. For that, we have already created a table called as occupations. And let us run the query and see what is the schema. We have a name column and an occupation column. Name column consists of like different names and occupation is the corresponding occupation with respect to that name. And our question is, write a query such that the name column in occupations table is sorted alphabetically and displayed underneath its corresponding occupation. The output column header should be doctor, professor, singer and actor which are the different occupations which are available from the occupations table. And I have already created an expected output table uh, then it will be easy for us to understand because it is a bit tricky. So this is our input table which is the occupations table. We have two columns name and occupation and we have four different occupation which are doctor, actor, singer and professor. Now this is our expected output table in which it is given that we have four output column sorry four columns which is, which is the particular occupations name and below the occupation name it is given that we have the list of people or the list of names which is listed in alphabetical order that is the names are uh, displayed or sorted in the alphabetical order. So this is our expected output. Now let us come back and start writing the query. So let us start with a select clause followed by name column then occupation column and after that we are going to use a row number function over and here we are going to use the partition on occupation and in the question it is given that we have to display the particular names which is sorted in alphabetical order. So for that we are going to use the order by clause and order by clause is on the column name which is in ascending order. Let us give a column name that is Ronam. So this part is completed and from occupations table. Now let me run the query and see what is the result. Now we have a third column in addition to the input table which is the row number which has uh, which, which has assigned particular row number to a different combinations of name and occupation. And now what we are going to do is that we are going to write a pivot function on this particular table and see what is the result we are going to get. Select star from this particular table we are considering as a sub query and on that we are going to write a pivot function and inside the pivot function it is mandatory that we use, should use we should use a uh, aggregate function so here we are going to use the aggregate function max it is okay if you use minimum also it does not matter because the result is going to be the same the column which should appear as the pivoted column is the occupation column so for that we have to use the occupation column within the pivot query occupation and we have to list all the values available from the occupation column and we know that actor professor singer and doctor are the different values which are available from the occupation column professor singer and finally uh, we have one more value which is doctor yeah these are the four values which are available from the occupation table now we have completed this part of the query and after this, we have to give an alias name result. Now, if we run the particular query, we will get a result which is very similar to our expected output, but which in addition has a raw number column. But our expected output only has this particular column. So for that, we are going to write a query outside the particular query considering considering this query as a sub query and then we will get the expected output yeah so we want the output in the particular order that is actor doctor professor and singer so doctor now if i run the query we will get the output in the particular order and in the expected manner now we have the expected result sorry yeah copy with header 
Now let us compare the expected result and our output. So we have the actor column. We have the actor column with the names which is sorted in ascending order. That is Jane, Julia, Maria. And in doctor column we have Jenny, Samantha. And in the third third row we does not have any result. So a null is appeared appearing in the result. So that is okay. And for professor we have Ashley, Christine, Katie. And finally, for the singer column, we have Mira, Priya, and finally, there is no result in the particular row. So, we have null in our query output. So, we have obtained our expected output. So, this is the way by which you can write a query and list particular output underneath the column header. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, subscribe the channel.